Yo, what's going on you guys? It's Dr. J and we're back with some more NBA 2K18 My Team. And what I have for you guys today is, well, I'm finishing up the last bit of gameplay for the weekly challenges. But I'm about to receive a new reward player and it's going to be an Amethyst player. And I'll show you guys that in just a second, but right now I'm kind of just like finishing up and... How does that not go in? I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, uh, it's actually kind of funny. I'm uh, in my lineup right now on the on the court. I'm using my D Brown card, and he was like the first ward player from the weekly challenges. And then on the left side, I have uh, the Bruce Bowen, who was the last one. And the, how did Nene just dunk on us? Man, I don't know. But uh, if you guys want to check those out, those are both on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, just like me getting those players and unlocking them. But yeah, uh, we're about to receive a new player, and it's an Amethyst, and it's Kenyon Martin. And uh, he's a power forward, and I grew up uh, watching him a lot, and he was one of my favorite players. So I'm really excited that they made him the board player. Um, I know they had him last year in uh, my team for 2k17 but he was part of some collection or whatever so i never actually got to uh, got the chance to use him so i'm excited that i'm going to now and uh dude i'm just so excited that i'm probably going to be using a brand new uh card in this game the only thing that's kind of weird though is that on the screen right there that uh, was a uh, kenyan or not kenyan Mo, that was a uh, carl malone uh the weird thing about it is because i just got him uh, the other day if you guys haven't checked out my video you should check it out because the uh, market the the auction house like crashed and like there was so many uh carl malones up on the auction house because people were trying to rip packs to get all those new kobe Bryant cards like the amethyst diamond and pink diamond so I got him for cheap, so now I don't know if I'm going to use Martin in my lineup or not. I mean, I will use my lineup, but I don't know if I use him in starting or on the bench, but we'll have to see how good he is. But uh, we sh it should say something about having the five tokens, though, so is it going to load? And it says something. There we go. We got five tokens, and we're about to get 92 overall power forward Kenyon Martin. Dude, I'm so excited. And... Um, I have 126,000 MT right there, and part of the reason why I have that is because because of uh, all these uh, moments challenges going on right now for the Kobe. Um, basically, the challenges are uh, or it's not that one; it's this one. It's like you must use eight Lakers players on your team. So people are, like are constantly putting up uh, Laker cards, uh, really cheap. Uh, kind of like for like maybe a thousand two thousand and a little bit more but there's constantly cards being put up and so i've been sniping so many I, and i've actually made over thirty thousand just in like a day or so uh just because of uh buying a uh, quick uh trying to snipe players and then end up like selling it for a little bit more so it adds up a lot but dude amethyst kitty and moan let's go ahead and open this up and we're gonna get that awesome intro or that animation thing yeah there is do the purple glow oh man i'm so excited let's flip it oh my gosh this is so awesome there he is dude let's go yeah i'm yeah fist pump yeah whatever <laughs> dude kenny and martin dude that is so awesome I love the rewards that they've been uh, giving out this year, especially for like domination and stuff, you know, with like the, like a lot of the amethyst and diamonds and that, and the rubies as well. And uh, so far the weekly challenges have been pretty good, like, um, like the boost bone is actually a really good card, the debounce nice, but dude, an amethyst like candy mode is going to be awesome to use. Dude, that is so cool. And like I said, he was one of my favorite players going up, so I'm really happy I got him too, so, and it's with the Brooklyn jersey right there, because it's no longer the the New Jersey Nets, but dude, that is so cool. Alright, let's go. <laughs> let's not waste any more time. Let's go check out his stats right now. Man, Kenyon Martin, this is gonna be fun. Uh, so really quick, let's go to collections and go to game boards, and we can go to the Nets. And uh, I already had the Scalabee right here from uh, Pack and Playoffs, but we got this one, and it has a Hall of Fame badge, dude. That is sick. Okay, let's check this out. Dude, that is such a good card. And the salary cap is only 300, so that's really nice. Wow, dude. 97 defensive overall and 95 offensive overall. That's awesome, man. <laughs> oh, man, that's sick. His uh, Hall of Fame bags is Lob City Finisher. And then I'll just kind of scroll through the gold bags right here. Dude. 
This is so nice. I'm actually, if they had a duo with him and Jason Kidd, that'd be awesome. Um, inside scoring is an A, middle range is a B, C minus for three point scoring, that's kind of eh, but he wasn't really known for three point scoring anyway. Playmaking is a C, perimeter defense B plus, post defense A plus, rebounding is an A plus, A and, and all A's for uh, athleticism, basketball IQ, potential, and overall. Dude, it's looking nice so far. And he's six foot nine and 225 pounds. Standing layup is a 96, driving 80. Post fade is an 85. Post hook is an 89, that's nice. Uh, shot close, 96. Open shot mid makes is an 85. Open shot three, 79. Dude, that's actually a lot better than I was thinking because I have some of my um, Amethyst that I have, like my power forwards, like Spencer Haywood. He's like a D minus, I think, but he has like a 72 open shot three. And you actually make it with him consistently. So 79 is actually really nice. Uh, free throws, not that good. 71, whatever. Box outs in 95. Dude, look at his rebounding. Offense is in 97 and defense is in 95. That's uh, 82 block, uh, 84 shot contest, uh, 74 steal, 90 defensive consistency. Dude, that's sick. Uh, Standy Ducks in 98, driving is a 90, and also contact dunk is a 90 as well. Speed with, uh, actually speed is 84, speed with balls is 44, that's really bad. Acceleration 83 is nice. Vertical 92, strength is 84. Stamina 97, hustle 95. Shot IQ and hands are both 97. Reaction time is an 86, and offensive consistency is a 98, dude. There's so many players I have that have 98 offensive consistency, it's weird. And his proficiencies uh, are 99 for balance, 99 for grit and grind, 81 for pace and space, 99 for perimeter centric, 94 for post centric, 81 for triangle, 99 for 7 seconds, and 99 for defense. And it's perfect because I use balance so it just fits right in perfectly. Dude, this car looks so sick. I wish I had more uh, contracts on it, but... Um, Man, I'm so excited. And uh, right now, I'm actually going to go ahead and check out his stats. Uh, or not his stats. I'm going to go ahead and check him out in freestyle. So I'll see you guys there in just a second. Okay, we're in freestyle right now with the Kenyon Moen. And uh, one thing I noticed that when I was doing the substitution thing, it said that his uh, offense is actually 96. So that must be in-game and freestyle because uh, when I checked the code, it said 95 offense. So that's actually kind of nice. And really quick, his uh, stuff... Wait, three points of C plus? Dude, it said C minus before, so that's actually really good. So in game, it should be the same. And inside there's an A, B plus for mid ranks, and C for playmaking. And let's check out his stuff. Only, only has four, dang it. Okay, so how's this code? I gotta do a song. Ooh, do we have a school? He's gotta have some good dunk animations. Come on, do something cool. Oh, that was sick. Okay, let's check out his mid range shot. Okay. That's such a weird release. Oh, a perfect dude. Oh my god. Ah, I released it a little late. Perfect, dude. Dude. Oh, I released it late. But still went in. No, it's not going in. Dude, it's like it's like a really late release, but it actually helps you because like for some reason it helps like we're trying to get like the perfect green, you know. Okay, now I'm missing mine. Hang on. Now I'm releasing too early, but that still went in. Dude, this is actually really. This is a lot better at off the threes. Dude, look at that shot, and it was slightly early. There we go. There we go. Dude, this card is nice. Oh man, come on, you got that. Come on, there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on, you got that. Nice. I thought that was actually gonna be short. Dude, this card is so good. Come on, there we go. Dude, he seriously can't miss. Oh my god. Ah oh man, that would have been sick. And I forgot, does he have a post trade? 
Oh my god, dude. Oh, that was only post fade, but that kind of was, but. Dude, perfect on the post fade? Oh man, that would have been sick. And does he have a. I forgot, does he have a post hook? Oh, no way. <laughs> that animation is so weird how it does that. Dude, he's got such a good shot. It's like a it's like a late release, but it's like it's actually pretty nice. Okay, let's do a couple more dunks and then uh, I'll go back to the menu. But dude, this is it. Oops, that was a uh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, that was like a T Mac dunk. That was sick, dude. Let me let me try some. I was trying to do some. Try to see if you could do like any 360s. Oh no, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, that was like a Dwight Howard dunk. Oh, and I was gonna do that dumb animation when like you barely dunk it and it makes you almost fall and break your neck. Dude, this card is so good. Definitely worth it. Oh, come on. Man. This card is nice. I just see this card being like so good to use in like any mode, honestly. Man. Okay, let's try let's try one more three at the top. Oh, come on, he got that. Come on. You got that oh that's a deep three right there. Oh man, I was gonna say that would be sick. Okay, one more shot for fun. Half court. Ah oh, man, that would've been sick. But dude, this card is so good. And if you guys have been keeping up with the weekly challenges, hopefully you guys like him. But if you guys haven't been keeping up with it, I definitely recommend trying to stay consistent with the weekly challenges because this card is definitely worth it. So yeah. And for those of you who didn't know, they actually have a promo pack right now, and it's called Getting Buckets, and the reward player is Diamond Penny Hardaway. I have his ruby from uh, the um, Historic Domination, and that card is so good, so I uh, suspect that the diamonds could be even way better. And some of the players in there are like Amethyst, uh, Paul Pierce, Alan Iverson, and Vince Carter. And Vince and Alan are like two of my top three favorite players all time, and Paul Pierce is one of my favorites as well. And then they also got this, uh, the, still the Kobe stuff going on right now, so, uh, man, I'm just so excited. And, uh, really quick, oh, I want to check who the new player is going to be. So, I suspect, I know that there's two diamonds, um, that, uh, they show as reward players, and that's Rick Barry and Sean Kemp. So, I suspect it's going to be one of those, but I don't know who it is. I prefer the Sean Kemp, but if it's Rick Barry, it's cool, but let's see... And it's Rick Barry. Dude, 96? I thought it was a 95. Dude, that's awesome. 96 overall, Rick Barry is the next card. So I'll be getting him um, after getting like five more tokens, dude. So basically like five weeks, you know. But dude, that is so cool. So that means the next player will be Sean Kemp. And it, the weird thing to me, though, is that on uh, the 2K... Um, on uh, 2kmtcentral.com I also have like they have the app on iOS it has him as a, a 95 actually so um, and the Sean Kemp uh, they have him as a 95, 95 as well so I suspect that um, that will be like different you know like they'll probably uh, make it either 96 or something because if there's one to 96 that means that they wouldn't like downgrade the next players overall you know but, uh, dude, this is so cool. Rick Berry, that's gonna be, and he is a small forward, actually, so I thought he was a shooting guard, and I actually forgot I had his diamond card and 2K16. I got it near the end of 2K16, and I don't, I got him because he was, like, the, my first diamond small forward I had, and I think he was actually a pretty good, um, diamond card, too, so I'm excited to see if I can get him, um, and see, like, how good he'll be, but, uh, actually, one thing I need to uh, quickly check uh, It's not auction house, but I think I sold yeah, I sold the Lonzo ball I signed him for like 750 or something. So I sold him for 1500. So that's really good But right now we're gonna really quickly check my uh, starting lineup and um, right here um, at 
point guard, I got Jojo White. Shooting guard, Pete Miravich. Power forward, Carl Malone. Center, Bob Love. And at small forward, I have Tracy McGrady, who I still need to sell. I keep delaying it, but um, his price is going down a little bit, so I kind of wish I sold it sooner, you know? But uh, hopefully, uh, maybe less cards will start showing up now on the auction house. Maybe his price will go up soon, hopefully. But um, since I already got like some really good players, I feel like, you know, maybe um, I don't really need him now to complete all-time domination stuff. But uh, man, I wish I did sell him earlier, but he sucks a good card too. So I didn't, I don't really, I didn't mind keeping him for a while too. But uh, yeah, and so then, uh, <laughs> sorry for talking so long, but yeah, and on my banks, I have Amethyst, Kenyon Martin, uh, Spencer Haywood, Ronald Test, Fat Lever, or Lever, or whatever. I don't even know how you say it. And then I got the Ruby Kobe, uh, Jamal Mashburn, Hoshi Hawkins, and Roy Hibbert as well. And this is my uh, players, like on like my reserve players. I have Bruce Bowen, who I probably will end up. I think I put him in for Mashburn because Mashburn hasn't been really good for me lately, so I'll kind of keep it like that for now. Then uh, I also have uh, Sharif Abdurrahim, Sam Cassell because um, I pulled him in uh, my the the Kobe pack opening thing I did, and it 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 wasn't it didn't end up well. But I'm probably gonna sell him, and then here are some other players too as well. So, but man, this this Kenny mode is really nice. And really quickly, I need to check. Bob Love is six foot eight. Spencer Haywood is six foot eight. And what is Carl Malone? He's 6'9". So, um, really quick, I'm going to check uh, to see, like, the comparisons between, like, all the, um, like, the power forwards and the Amethyst power forwards and stuff. So, Kenny Martin looks like that. He has, like, the higher for defensive overalls and, and offensive overalls as well. Um, Bob Love has more goal badges, but they're tied for the Hall of Fame. And it seems like... I don't know who's better. It's I, it looks like Bob Love to me. I think it is Bob Love. So I may end up keeping my starting lineup, and I don't mind Bone comes off the bench because he's still gonna be really effective. And for uh, Spencer Hayward, um, it seems like that Kenny Martin's still probably like higher up for some of that stuff. Uh, Spencer Hayward does win for badges though. Uh, but Martin, actually they do have the same letter grades, uh, the same number of greens and stuff. Uh, dude, I don't know who wins right there. It looks like Martin probably does. And then last one, uh, I'll do for Malone really quick. Let's see, so, uh, Carl Malone's is a 98 and a 94, so I, I think that's, that's probably better, or similar, or whatever. And, how about for badges? Okay, so Malone wins. And I don't know who wins right there. I don't know. I'm fine keeping it honestly how it is right now. Just like these guys off the bench. And, um, and then he can kind of maybe be my center or whatever. Or Spencer Haywood could. But eventually I need to get some more centers too. And I actually am really close to getting uh, that Amethyst um, George Mikan from the Lakers historic collection. But I don't know if I actually want to do it yet. Because some of the players in the set that I need are still pretty expensive. Like the Robert Oi. But the Ruby Small Wilkes is actually getting really cheaper now. So I may buy him soon. Um, but then again, I also think like, you know, maybe I should just like buy actual like Amethyst players on the auction house But if you guys have any, uh, um, if you guys have any advice, uh, let me know because I I'm really open to like any thoughts and opinions So yeah, but uh, I think that's gonna wrap this video up you guys Hope you guys enjoyed this video me getting this Amethyst Kenny and Moen and uh, yeah Thanks for watching you guys. There'll be more coming soon and until next time later peeps Oh yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DrJ24Gaming to keep up on that post. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up more NBA 2K18, Call of Duty, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and GTA 5 as well. Later peeps.